like, share, and subscribe. You know, I'm seeing a lot of migrants. You know, I live in the Los Angeles area, California, and, you know, in Los Angeles, that is a haven for migrants just to just pop up all over the place. You know, you see a lot of them at the grocery store. You know, they're getting government assistance, food stamps, things of that nature. But then you see a lot of them that are out hanging out all day and all night at liquor stores, at stores, you know, even at night. They're just out walking around, hanging out. A lot of them are homeless. But yet they're out drinking beer, you know, and digging in trash cans and doing all kind of things and robbing people and doing all kind of ungodly ass things. This is what a lot of them are doing. You know. But we watch America allow them to come over here and right at the border you see them running rampant. But you must remember some kind of way the government and all these crooked ass cartel and you know and and, and all these quote unquote religious organizations are making money off of these migrants because you know a lot of their children are coming up missing while they're over here trying to get into this country to take from the original inhabitants of America. You know, while they're coming over here, a lot of their children come up missing. Organ harvesting is at an all time high because let's be honest, a lot of these people are being sold, kidnapped, and their children are being taken. They're being taken. Some of them are being sold. Some of them are just coming up missing and you never hear from them ever again. This is what's happening to a lot of them right now. This is what's happening. So the government has their hands in on this. And you have Texas right now who's saying, you know what? We want to be our own country. We want to separate ourselves from all of this madness. We want to separate ourselves because we can't stop them the way that we want to stop them from coming over the border without the Biden administration over here talking about, oh, it's wrong. You know, stop trying to stop them. But the reality is all of this is bigger than what we are actually seeing. We know that the Biden administration and the Amer American government has opened up those borders for a lot of heinous ass reasons. A lot of it is because their population is low. So they want to just flood America with a lot of these Latin foreigners because Biden told you back in the day, you know, black people are going to have to learn how to get along with Latino people. He told you flat out. So him opening up the border, this ain't new. This ain't new news. He knows exactly what he meant when he said what he said. And now look at what we got. You know, they're coming over here rapid, but Texas is saying, look, we need to separate ourselves from y'all because we don't need this. We don't need these people coming over here. But a lot of them are being sold. A lot of their children are being kidnapped and taken away. And this is the reality of what we are seeing. You got a lot of missionaries, Christian missionaries, Catholic missionaries coming over around, you know, and kidnapping these children. And it's sad and it's a shame, but this is the reality. When we start seeing things like this happening at alarming rates, at a large rate. <laughs> we are at a crucial and a horrible time. But this is a time of awakening. This is a time for us to be awakened because truth is coming out and things are being exposed. Truth is being told like never before. 
but you have a lot of people who want to continue to be lulled to sleep and want to continue to lull the masses to sleep. But so-called black people are waking up at alarming rates because it's high time that we start speaking to our ancestors and awaken so that we can take back what is rightfully ours, what has been promised to us.